Good news tonight for those looking forward to taking a cruise. Ships will begin departing from Port Tampa Bay beginning this fall. Nico Clemens joining us live from the port. Nico, some might think it's still too soon considering a recent COVID outbreak on a carnival ship. Yeah, for sure, Key. And the uh, cruise industry, you know, it's a, it's a hot topic here in Florida. There's tons of debate and mixed reaction about whether cruises should set sail again. But uh, when is the right time? I talked with an infectious disease doctor and a cruise industry expert to try and get that answer. Port Tampa Bay is ready to welcome back cruise lines. President and CEO Paul Anderson says Royal Caribbean International will resume sailing from the port in October. It's the first cruise to leave Tampa since March 2020. Celebrity and Carnival will follow in November and Norwegian Cruise Line in December. I think every protocol that can be put in place should be put in place. We Scott Swenson has sailed out of Tampa Bay many times. He thinks cruise lines should require passengers to get vaccinated before coming on board. I have absolutely no trouble with there being a vaccination mandate. I also have no trouble with there being a mask mandate in certain areas. Several people tell Aid on Your Side they're ready to cruise again. But like Swenson, they have mixed feelings. I would feel more comfortable if all the passengers are vaccinated. The cruise lines and their protocols are, are proven to be working. Stuart Sheeran is a cruise industry expert. He's boarded four cruises in the past eight weeks. One of them saw two passengers diagnosed with COVID. He also echoes those who say this is not the time for unvaccinated people to get on a ship. In order for these cruise lines to resume and do it safely based on what they're, you know, they're, they're claiming with the science and technology, it's, it's just best that everybody on board is, is vaccinated. Infectious disease doctor at Moffitt Cancer Center, Dr. John Green, says the risk is there. Recently, 27 people on a Carnival Cruise Line tested positive for the virus, most of them staff members. When your rates are at the highest, your risk of transmission is also very high. And if you're trying to get on that cruise, the first one out of Port Tampa Bay, the Port Tampa Bay website shows Royal Caribbean leaving Tampa October 16th. That cruise is going to the Bahamas. Live in Tampa, I'm Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.